Uh, over a month ago, New York Congresswoman-elect Nicole Maliotakis started putting together her own conservative squad that would go up against AOC and her squad. They call themselves the Freedom Force. So, I like that. What is their plan <laughs> when it comes to taking down DOC and the squad? Here to talk more about that, about the Freedom Force, and what they hope to accomplish is New York Congresswoman-elect herself, Nicole Maliotakis. So, Congresswoman-elect, uh, tell me what you really want to take to Congress and how you want to battle them. Because a lot of people, we saw in this election that people don't want to go left wing. You know, they sent more Republicans back to, to Washington. Well, I could tell you, as someone who is from New York City, we are seeing the results of what happens when a government goes too far to the left. Uh, we are a group of individuals who are coming to Congress who are very passionate, love this country. Uh, we are appreciative of our freedoms and liberties. We are appreciative of the American dream that this nation provided to our families. I'm the daughter of immigrants from Greece uh, and Cuba. My mother is a refugee who came in 1959 to flee the Castro regime. We have other members just like me who share similar stories. And we are united to push back against the socialist squad. We want to make sure that we preserve the freedoms and liberties that this great country offers, the opportunities that it offers, its economic freedoms, uh, our free trade policies, our, our, our actual uh, economic engine that has made this nation so successful, and by the way, has attracted millions of immigrants from around the world, because mm. our nation is so truly special and unique. Yeah, as is this incoming class of Congresswomen. Um, actually, all, all of the Republicans have such important and different stories to share, so I'm glad that we're trying to do our part to help with that. I did want to ask you, in terms of yourself or any members of the Freedom Force, have you had occasion to have any type of interaction with AOC or any members of the, the the socialist squad, as you call it? Well, you know, we haven't been sworn in yet, so we haven't uh, seen them. But uh, certainly, I think there'll be uh, a back and forth in terms of debating policies. We are a group of individuals who support law enforcement. Uh, we don't support defunding the police. We don't support open borders, by the way, but we are supportive of legal immigration. And we want to make sure that uh, we are protective of our nation for homeland security purposes. Uh, and uh, I, I'm sure that when it comes to issues like stacking, the court, uh, when it comes to issues like changing our election laws, uh, we're going to be a strong force to be pushing back on these dangerous policies that would really dismantle our nation, uh, dismantle the U.S. economy, uh, and would turn us into socialist nation, which we do not want. What do you feel about the shutdowns that are going on across the country? A lot of them, for instance, in New York and California. Very concerned about that. I mean, I've been pushing back against Governor Cuomo's arbitrary restrictions. He and Mayor de Blasio are really hurting our small businesses. I believe there is a balanced approach. Uh, we can reopen this economy. We also need to encourage people to comply with CDC guidelines to keep ourselves safe and healthy. But what we're seeing from Governor Cuomo are these arbitrary restrictions that are trampling on religious freedoms. We saw the Supreme Court uh, rule against him in terms of uh, limiting uh, houses of worship to uh, 10 or 25 individuals, regardless of their capacity. We are seeing small business owners reach their desperation point. And we have to remember, behind every small business, there are hundreds of, of uh, there are employees, there are, there, there are their families, and there are owners who put in everything to achieve the American dream and are about to lose it. So we think that there is a more balanced approach uh, and we do we do feel that people should be uh, cooperating, of course, with the CDC guidelines. But let's be uh, wise about it and uh, and move forward in a way that doesn't destroy our uh, our entire economy. You know, one third of small businesses here in New York are going to shut down for good. Yeah, we definitely do not need that. Uh, Congresswoman-elect Maliotakis, thank you so much for joining us. Great to hear from you. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.